Well, good morning, trio of handsome men. Thank you, Van, for joining us. I really appreciate you being here, Reginald and Samson. Thank you, guys, for talk about Juneteenth. Uh, thank you. Thank you thank for having you. us. Glad to be okay. here. Okay, uh, I'm in based in Dallas, Texas, so we're reaching Texans and beyond today because I, I broadcast across America. But I, they were so excited when I told them I had an opportunity to talk to talk to a group that created a Juneteenth book. I'm going to start with you, if I can, uh, Van, just because you're first on my list. Tell me, speak sure. to me about the uh, creator of the book, Juneteenth, and what was your role? Oh, so uh, my publisher, Harper Collins, Versify, asked me if I would write a Juneteenth book. And without reservation, I said, I, I would love to write a Juneteenth book. So I, I, couldn't, I could not contain that excitement. I started just just drafting that same day. But I wanted to make sure that I got the tone right. I wanted to make sure that the rhythm was just perfect. And so I had a blast writing it. And now I'm just excited to be able to, to talk, not just to you, but to talk to people around the world about this great, this great project. So thank you for having us. Thank you for being here. Reginald, what was your role in this, this beautifully presented book? Yes, uh, thank you. My role was... Uh, co-illustrating this book with my my brother Samson out of Nugba. Um, I also am a muralist and a visual artist specializing in public art. And it was in the fall of, of uh, 2020 where we were invited to paint the Absolute Equality mural in Galveston, which is the birthplace of Juneteenth. And I believe that kind of became the precipice of how we were able to connect that artwork with the illustrations that now support these powerful words by my brother Van Garrett. Oh, great role. Okay, and finally, Samson, your role yes. in this beautiful book? Yeah, as an illustrator, I, I you know, collaborated with my friend, uh, you know, um, Reginald Adams, you know, looking at the great work uh, that uh, brother uh, Van has put together, we had to, like, go, you know, to the city of, of Galveston to feel and also research the, uh, the history so we could get it correctly and then put it together pictorially in explanation to, to translate the words into pictorial, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, impactful uh, pictures for the book. And that's, that's my role. My role is to put, put in the pictures together and working with um, Reginald to do that. Who decided that Lift Every Voice and Sing would be the hallmark of the book? Which one of you guys? That would be me, Van Garrett. Uh, I, I would tell you that when I think about uh, just the time in, in, in life where I have really just gotten goosebumps, the first one would be uh, the going to a Juneteenth parade, and then every time I sing the Negro National Anthem, and every time I sing, every time I sing that song, it's just I can just feel this 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 spirit of just celebration and pride. And so it was It was just necessary. It was imperative for me to have Lift Every Voice in the text and, and making sure that the rhythm was, was right and correct. So, yeah. Van, I know we're looking at your childhood. Tell us, just give us a compilation of what your eyes saw as a young child and you've translated as an adult into this book. Right. So when I was a kid, my sister and I went to to June to a Juneteenth parade in Grimes County, uh, to be clear, uh, in Anderson, Texas. And, and so when we were there, that was the first time that I saw uh, people riding horses, but they were starched and pressed. Uh, it, it was the, the, the cars were shiny. The 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 the, uh, the, the band was playing the, the the funnel cakes, the the barbecue, all these images that we see in the book. But it was it was more than just that. It was also just the pride that everybody had, and it felt so familiar. It was a family experience that was just so hard to to describe and explain. And I was like, why are people coming together in, in, what, in, in such a big way? So um, I remember asking my parents that same story that the young boy asked in the in the, uh, in the text in, in the book Juneteenth. And I hope that I'm able. Well, I hope that I convey. Uh, to young readers, that same sense of pride and, and celebration, family and freedom. Uh, but it, it's a true honor to be able to share my reflections with the world. I'm just so glad we're, we're talking about Juneteenth. As I told you guys, I'm in Dallas, Texas, and right 
close to us is Fort Worth, Texas, and that's the home of Opal Lee. Opal Lee is the one that we owe so much gratitude for because she's the one who walked across America to get Juneteenth a national holiday. She's known as the godmother of Juneteenth. And, Van, I think that opened doors for you to, to, to have your publisher say, hey, let's do a book on Juneteenth, because without her, it would not be this, this widely recognized uh, holiday or incident that happened at the end of the Civil War. So I'm very excited for all three of you, the possibilities of what will be from this simple little beautiful book. Yes, th thank you. And and, and, and Reg, you want you want to talk about how Miss Miss Opalee is is highlighted in the book? Yes, you know, um, as you mentioned, Miss Opalee has played such a pivotal role in in bringing the story of Juneteenth to the forefront of America. And we were very honored to to see and have Miss Opalee visit us in Galveston while we were painting, and and at the the, the precipice of the the completion of the mural, really just as inspiration, bringing that wisdom. And, and really standing on the shoulders of, of the work that she had been doing, work walking across America. And we took it upon ourselves to incorporate Miss Opal Lee into the mural. So in, there's a scene in the mural uh, in Galveston where there's a parade of people walking together in solidarity. And while all the other silhouettes are just kind of one color, we decided to paint Miss Opal Lee in full color in honor of the part that she played. So. We're right there and celebrating uh, Miss Opalee as the grandmother of Juneteenth, and she's a, a very important part of the story that we can now tell to so many young children through the words that Van has put together and the illustrations that Samson and I have developed for that story in the Juneteenth book. Well, I know, as they say, as the ancestors look back on you guys, they are so proud. This is what they meant by giving us the ability to be who we are, and you guys have really done it with this small book. I want to thank you, Reginald, Van, and Samson, for being my guest and inspiring my audience on the Valder BB Show. It's been truly a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you much. Thank you. Streaming TV, podcast, and in print publications. I interviewed the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I partnered with WPS for BB Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books. Books that inspire me, and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you for the next BB Summer Book Giveaway. <laughs>